point blank Do no subliminal dissing When I listen, I can tell you never been on no mission Sticking to the script, don't care if I offend you Neighborhood crib, the marathon continue I overlook continue. my competition, never seeing him I done drained my mind that I'm going You could tell by how I walk, talk, I'm a boss A east side millionaire, on me what you thought My life is a movie They can't get close to me They mad cause they can't be I'm everything that they wanna be Yeah Sniper with Nip Hustle Big shout out to my nigga SPR Spotter Low, you know I'm in the black box Had to come through, tap in, show love one time yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All that. Mm -hmm. oh, my mama, mama. Speaking of Clubhouse, hold no honey. The queen of Clubhouse. Oh, Clubhouse Pyro. C yeah, CHP. Man. You know he been on this campaign trying to smut Big U out and act like Big U boo-boo. I stumbled across some old uh, content when he was just like, what you call it, Gerbin? <laughs> he was like... He, he D-riding for sure. What? Super D-riding. I just want to listen to it in real time. Y'all put y'all thoughts in the chat. I want to get Munchie B thoughts in the I chat. I think I might know which one you're talking about, but go ahead. All right, say less. I'm sure you heard it before. Yeah, I think I know you're talking about. He didn't D-roll it a whole lot, but let me see. I'm going to mute our mics while it plays. I didn't do it last time because otherwise it bleeds over, but I'm going to mute our mics until the clip is over. All right. Bitch, you gon' handle this on. If you on this radar, that's another issue you got. Because that's 10 times me. That's on you, right? But if I find some dog that you disrespect the game with Nipsey, I'ma take that personal for me. Cause that's that his friend, bro. Well now, so now big you ten times you lie. That's not what you were saying, what you said to me on the phone. What you mean, my big you and that's ten times. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, hey, listen, bro. That's why hey listen. That's my brother for one. And I don't have no problem giving a they props. He's ten years my elder. Right? He's ten years my elder. He's a part of multiple organizations, one being the NOI. Right? That's a whole nother monster in itself. Right? His neighborhood and the ties to his neighborhood is by the thousands. Yeah, you give a man his props. That's what he is. That's what he is. I live in a real world. That don't take nothing for me. That's I just love you seeing you face to face. What? I just left your All right, Mike's back on. Oh, this—that's not even what I thought uh, you was gonna play. So he—he—he—he he, 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 he didn't derail. He didn't a whole lot. You hear me? Oh my, 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 my. SPI said you right about his vision too. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Look, first of all, this brother shit. Then he told me all the organizations he tied to. But now you bashing one of the organizations, developer options. You. He bring right. it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just expected of him, though. Right. But you know, that that's why he's so upset with Big U without he cut him off. He got daddy problems. So he he's very upset. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like your dad and walked out your life and he said about to go, he go get you uh, this football from the store and never came back type shit and then you just upset. That, that's the only thing. Cause you got cold daddy problems, bro. Because right. you, you admitted that your dad's a crackhead. You know what I'm saying? He, so you couldn't look up to him. You looking, you looking up to Big U. That's deep. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't recite his stories on million dollars worth of game. That abs I absolutely didn't didn't believe that that you know Big U didn't beat up about fifteen to twenty Southsiders on the yard. Being that I've been to prison before, a knife would have came out of that crowd somewhere. Mm -hmm. I really don't believe that you was lying and embellishing on that. And now and now you just you just talk down on him like he just opposite of all what you were just talking about in the past. But, you know, we expect that out of Weenie 100. You know what I'm saying? I don't oh, expect my, nothing my, less. My. He said something at the end that caught my ear. Let me try to bring it back one time. Hold on. I want to get all the way to the end, though. Hold on. I just left you seeing you face to face. Oh. What? He said, I live in the real world. Hmm. He said, I'm going to admit that Big U is the shh because I live in the real world. And I've long been saying he don't live in the real world no more. He stepped out of the real world, and he's existing in this metaverse only. So I think that made that was real profound to hear him say back then when he was giving Big U his props. He was describing it by that's what's going on in the real world. And I don't think he no longer lives in the real world. What you think about that? Yeah, he moved out on everything. And, and he, uh, he, he went crazy and lost his marbles because... 
his daddy Big U left him. Simultaneously, uh, his wife left him. His world is shambles, and he just been going on one every since. But nah, that nigga ain't living in no real world. You know what I'm oh my, 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 my. Uh, This dude, and I know everybody could agree, R. Kelly is a legend. I never saw the tape, but we all can agree he peed on a 14 year old long, long time ago. But this nigga's such a clout chaser. He is like an R. Kelly advocate. He's so happy to be talking to a superstar. He records, I'm sure R. Kelly agrees, but he records these conversations with R. Kelly and posts them online like he's doing something big, um, dealing with somebody that pees on little girls. And he got a daughter. I just seen him with his daughter on TV. I heard his daughter pretty too. Beautiful young lady. Nothing disrespectful yeah, shout out to, her. to her at all. But the fact that you are a governor of that type of a life I just wonder why you'd be supportive of someone who is notorious for peeing on little girls. Uh, he support he's he supporting uh, Puffy right now. No, he not. Yeah, I ran across some shit and he was saying like, well, the same people complaining. You mean you came back to these parties because this happened more than you, you keep going back like wow. you. So he was defending, you know what I mean? But you know he he, he was essay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As as when he was younger. So why would you think? Shout out to Bo Money. Uh, yeah, but money. Yeah. Uh, who let us put us up on the SA situation? So we try to be a little more sensitive with CS two. But why wouldn't you think he would be more sensitive to victims if he's also been victimized? Because he don't think nothing wrong with it. Cause he he was getting touched on. Oh, so sometimes they do say you either feel like you have the right to do the same or you could become more sensitive like the same way like these females they they done went through shit when they're younger and they get more promiscuous because because what they went through when they was younger and that's why this fool right here you know what i mean he think that shit is straight he got this fixation on gay shit he always point out who did what gay and all this little shit you know what i'm saying true. even r kelly throughout the whole debacle that he called his case on his freako that's what they call them now, Frico cases. Hmm. They say that he was uh, engaged with not, it wasn't all females that he was having these encounters with either. Never heard that one. Oh, so, yeah. So, 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 R. Kelly has some, some. Oh, bro, let me see how I can be graphic without being graphic. There's one young lady who has an account of being in a room with R. Kelly and his partner, his assistant, his, his boy. Mm -hmm. And they're sitting on the couch and she's sitting facing them. And R. Kelly questions her, how much can I trust you? And she goes, you know, you know, like spread your arms out as far as you can. She, mm -hmm. she says, the deeps of trust, you can trust me. And that was in order for him to then let a boy just get out on him right there in front of her. Hey, man, I, I, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I, I hope a girl just mad at him and, and put that out there and that ain't true, man. This same bro I say when she was 14, 15, her head is fucked up because... She remember being behind R. Kelly with a street nap, you know, looking in the mirror at herself like, I can't believe I'm doing this to R. Kelly at 15. With a strap on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you, since we on this subject. R. Kelly got touched on by his other sister too, though. So that's what I'm saying. Wow, they, they get to thinking. it's a cycle. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they think uh, it's okay, you know what I'm saying? So what about the Frosted Flakes footage with Kevin Hart and Puffy and Usher? Huh? You ever... <laughs> hey, I thought that's a, that's a classic. Frosted Flake? Yeah, you, you never heard when um, uh, Kevin Hart, he, was, he wasn't even big Kevin Hart. He was still up and coming Kevin Hart, but he was somewhere on, on location and got an opportunity to interview Diddy. And he grabbed, then he grabbed Usher like in a little headlock and was coming to the microphone like, yeah, this is my young boy. When he was a lot younger, we used to wake up in the morning and argue over the Frosted Flakes. And he was like, pause. Uh, and Kevin Hart was like, what did, did he just say? You ain't familiar with that clip? They used to argue over the Frosted Flakes. Early in the morning, wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. When uh, I, I, see, 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 I heard something else like he lived to win when he was younger what, what, and, and, uh, about them like sleeping in the same bed. But see, I don't like to repeat shit like that because I don't, you know what I'm saying? No, then, you won't be like ahead of this one. This one, I can't believe this one is like not just right on the tip of your tongue. Make me want to play it off of YouTube or something. Y'all realize we ain't on stream. Frosted or, Flakes. The Sniper and Nip Hustle. Big shout out to my nigga SPR, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All that. <laughs> Point blank, do no 
subliminal dissing When I listen, I can tell you never been on no mission Sticking to the script, don't care if I offend you Neighborhood crib, the marathon I overlook my competition, never seeing them I done train my mind that I'm going You could tell by how I walk, talk, I'm a boss A east side millionaire, on me what you thought My life is a movie, they can't get close to me They mad cause they can't be I'm everything that they wanna be, yeah